A huge weather pattern change will be coming to the United States over the next few days, and this is about to bring the return of much warmer weather to much of the United States. Additionally, as we go later into next week, it looks like we're going to see some big storms with the potential for severe weather and maybe even snowfall making a return to some of the United States. So in today's forecast, we're going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that will be impacting the United States over the next seven days, and we'll begin with what's happening across the country today and right now we have a big storm that is making its way across the northeast this is actually paired with hurricane melissa which is now moving into the open atlantic ocean and on the flip side of things we actually have a very strong low pressure system that is forming in new england and this is about to bring some very high winds today and rainfall across much of the northeast so get ready for that it's almost like a nor'easter just without the snow and really without any sort of significant rainfall in those areas now back along the gulf coast and all across the southern plains things are very quiet Quiet right now. However, we are monitoring the threat of a sneaky storm system as we go into the beginning of next week across the southeast. That could bring some strong to severe storms and even the potential for some high wind gusts. And then back through the Midwest and the Northern Plains, a very weak low pressure system is spinning across North Dakota. This will bring some passing showers, but overall nothing too significant there. And we are just about done talking about Hurricane Melissa. This is actually still a pretty strong hurricane right now, still sustaining a Category 1 intensity as it passes by Bermuda. It will move into the far northern Atlantic Ocean later today, becoming an extra tropical system. So we are basically done talking about Melissa, aside from the impacts that it has already brought to areas like Cuba, the Bahamas, as well as even Jamaica. And then as we go later in this weekend and early next week, look where it's going. It's actually going to make its way all the way up towards Iceland and the United Kingdom. So some high wind gusts and rain will be a possibility out of the remnants of Melissa as it makes its way towards Iceland in the early portion of next week. And I do have some very good news regarding hurricane season across the entire Atlantic Basin. This is the first time in a while that we've seen very little to no signals of any tropical system developing anywhere in the Atlantic Ocean through the middle of November. So this is very good news. Let's hope it stays this way. Obviously, we can still sometimes see isolated tropical systems develop during the month of November, but a lot of the time we do not usually see much activity. So let's hope we don't really see much activity and let's just hope the United States lucks out this year because so far it has been a very good hurricane season for the entire United States. Now, over the next 7 to 10 days, our weather is going to get very interesting, and one of the big reasons why is because our jet stream is about to change dramatically. This is what it looks like right now. We actually have a pretty big dip in the jet stream all across the Central Plains, all the way through the East Coast. Pretty large storm system sitting across the Northeast right now, bringing that shower activity and also the high winds today. This is also bringing all that cold air across the Southern Plains. Now, as we go into this weekend, things are going to start to change. A storm system will dive out of the Midwest, and this is going to intensify as we go into Sunday across the Ohio Valley. And I think by Monday, we could actually have a bit more of an organized storm system that makes its way down into the deep southeast. I'm talking about Georgia, South Carolina, and Florida. And there is a potential for some strong to severe storms on Sunday and Monday. So this will be something that we are keeping a very close eye on. And then as we go into Monday into Tuesday, notice how our jet stream is going to become very flat. This is a zonal jet stream when our winds are basically going west to east, and there's not really a whole lot of curvature in our jet stream. So things I think will be calm during the beginning of next week aside from the southeast but by the time we go into the end of the week the GFS model is hinting that we could actually see the return of some big storm systems across the Great Plains this pictured here would be Thursday into Friday there's been some consistent signals that we could see our next big storm system by about Friday of next week across the Great Plains and if something like this were to happen we could see the return of some severe weather and maybe even the return of snowfall another thing I want to point out too if this scenario were to pan out notice how we have yellows and reds in our jet stream coming out of the northwest this would basically pull very cold air out of canada and this could be the beginning of several cold shots as we go into the early and middle portions here of november and keep in mind we are only a few weeks away from winter in fact our next winter forecast is going to be coming out in just a few days talking all about how this winter could be one of the colder ones that we've seen in several years so that is something that you definitely want to keep an eye out for but obviously over the next seven to ten days we are going to be dealing with probably around to just above average temperatures for most of the country but I I think by the middle of November, we could have some pretty big storm systems making a return. And in just a moment, we're going to talk about exactly how cold and warm it's going to be over the next seven days and the big storms that are coming to the United States. But before we do that, we need to talk about the sponsor of today's video. The weather can be unpredictable, but your savings don't have to be. I partnered with Chime to show you how to grow your money faster than a summer storm. With Chime's high yield savings account, you can earn 3.5% APY, which is over eight times the national average, meaning that your savings 
don't just sit there, they'll actually work for you. Imagine this, if you put $6,000 into a regular savings account, you might make around $24 in a year. But in Chime's high yield savings account, that same money will turn into over $200. That's enough money for a new weather station, a fancy radar program, or anything else that you could dream of. You can even set savings goals right inside of the Chime app, and every time you spend, Chime will automatically round up your purchases and turn that spare change straight into savings. And the best part, you can get up to $350 with a new Chime account through my link at the top of the description. Once you're in, you're going to want to set up direct deposit to unlock the 3.5% APY, along with their full suite of fee-free banking features. Don't wait for clear skies. Start saving smarter today with the top link in the description below. With Chime's high yield savings account, you can get started in just minutes and make every dollar work harder for you. Now let's get back to the forecast. Now I think one of the more fascinating things about our weather pattern over the next seven days is how little rainfall we are going to be seeing across most of the lower 48. This is going to be one of the quieter five day stretches of weather that we've had in quite some time. So over the next couple of days, big storm system will continue to move out of the northeast. Very high wind and even some snowfall will be possible over the next 24 hours across New England. And then Sunday into Monday is when a storm system will attempt to form across the southeast. This does not look nearly as organized as what we've been looking at over the last few days in terms of our computer model runs. It looks more like just a rain event, perhaps some thunderstorms, isolated severe risk Sunday into Monday across areas in like the Carolinas, for example. But generally speaking, does not look to be a significant storm by any means, at least at this point. As we go into a Tuesday into Wednesday, high pressure will build along the east coast along the west coast a big atmospheric river event appears likely by tuesday and wednesday so heavy rainfall and snow do appear likely especially in the higher elevations which is where we'll be talking about the potential for snowfall thursday and friday the energy that comes from that little atmospheric river event will move over the rockies that means that snow and rain will be a possibility thursday across the rocky mountains and then look at this right here a very strong low pressure system is forecasted to eject over the rockies as we go into thursday and friday and this could be the return of severe weather and some snowfall across the United States. Exactly where we see severe weather, where we could see snowfall remains up in the air at this point. But again, models have been hinting that our next storm system would be around November 7th or 8th, so not too long from now. And then as we go into next weekend, that's when things become a lot more uncertain. But notice how the GFS model continues to hint that we could see several storm systems by the middle of November. So again, get ready. Snow is coming for some of us. I think we'll at least see our first snowfall across areas like Kansas, Nebraska, perhaps even back into Wisconsin. Wisconsin and Illinois by around the middle, maybe the tail end of November. And over the next seven days, our temperatures are going to take a little bit of a swing. This is what it looks like right now. We have below average temperatures all across the Great Plains along the East Coast, excluding New England, where it's still a little bit above average across Maine and New Hampshire. But as we go into tonight and tomorrow, all that cold air is going to seep its way into the Northeast. And we're going to actually have another shot of cold air tonight into tomorrow across the Central Plains, where temperatures could be as low as 15 to 25 degrees below average including areas like Missouri and Kansas. Sunday into Monday, that cold air is going to start to kind of sink its way out of the country. Warm air is going to make its return Monday into Tuesday across the Great Plains. And look at the Rockies and along the West Coast. Things are really going to get warm over there Monday into Tuesday. By Wednesday and Thursday, warm air returns from Texas back into Michigan. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday is when I expect warm weather to return again to the Midwest and the Ohio Valley. So generally speaking, the temperatures will be on a little bit of a roller coaster here over the next seven to 10 days. But keep in mind, we're getting pretty close to stuff like this happening in the United States where we could start to see some legit Arctic air actually seep in where we could see areas down into the teens and 20s. Not saying that's going to happen here around November 11th, but I just want to point out that that is something that is on the horizon as we go into the later half year of November. But more than anything, this is just a reminder that winter is on the horizon. We are getting awfully close to the beginning of meteorological winter, which is only about 30 days from now. So get ready. It's coming. Snow will be on the horizon here very soon. And then in terms of the actual temperatures across the country for the next few days. This is what it looks like tomorrow morning, which is Saturday. Many areas across the central and northern plains and the Midwest will be down in the 20s and 30s, one of the colder mornings we've had so far this year across the Great Plains. And then as we go into the afternoon hours, things are going to warm up pretty nicely along the Gulf Coast. Honestly, beautiful weather for all the country. This is literally fall weather. This is just a classic. I mean, we're talking about 40s and 50s across the Midwest, Ohio Valley in the mid to upper 50s, down along the Gulf Coast, 60s, 70s, and even some 80s as well. Just phenomenal weather here this weekend. Get outdoors. I really don't see that many problems in the way of our weekend here across much of the country. Sunday, we're really talking about the same thing. Honestly, a much nicer morning will really not need as much of layers, at least across areas like the Central and Northern Plains. Sunday afternoon, once again, looks beautiful.
beautiful. However, if you're back over in the high plains, look at this, we're gonna be back in the 70s and 80s. So it's gonna feel a little bit more at the very beginning of fall in some of these areas. But overall, again, the weather looks phenomenal here this weekend. And as always, thank you all so much for watching today's forecast. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. I also wanna give a huge shout out to Chime for sponsoring today's forecast. Make sure to check them out. It's the top link in the description below. Without sponsors like them, a lot of the stuff we do here on this channel would not be possible. So I really appreciate Chime for sponsoring today's forecast. And as always, have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you all again in the next video or live stream.